In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to use benzoyl peroxide for acne. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Janet. I'm a medical doctor and I blog on skincare tips, relaxed hair and personal development. Now, if these are topics you love, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know when the next video goes live. If you deal with acne of any degree, you must have heard of the acne treatment, benzoyl peroxide. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys what benzoyl peroxide is, how it works, how to use it effectively in your skincare routine, its side effects, what to use with benzoyl peroxide for acne, and the skincare ingredients you don't mix with it. Benzoyl peroxide is a topical antimicrobial agent that is used in the first line management of mild to moderate acne. Now you can find it over the counter and in prescription medications. It comes in creams, cleansers, lotions, and you can find it in 2.5%, 4%, 5%, and 10% strengths. Acne arises when our pores get clogged. Now our pores can clog from excessive sebum, dead skin cells, and inflammation that can arise when there's the presence of the acne forming bacteria, QT bacterium acnes. Now when these pores get clogged, they could lead to Comedona acne, these are the blackheads and whiteheads. They are also non-inflammatory acne, or they can lead to inflammatory acne such as the papules, postules, cysts and nodules. These are the inflammatory types that can cause red, painful bumps. Benzoyl peroxide works to treat acne in three ways. Firstly, it kills the acne forming bacteria, it unclogs the pores, and then it reduces inflammation. So it is very, very effective in the management of inflammatory acne. It does this by oxidation. It releases free radicals that breaks down these dead skin cells that clog the pores. Now it also inhibits the white blood cells that mediate inflammation. Now in addition to these benefits, there has been no antibiotic resistance recorded with benzoyl peroxide. And so it's formulated with a lot of topical antibiotics like clindamycin and erythromycin. These are the common formulations you get with benzoyl peroxide. It has been shown that combining benzoyl peroxide with these antibiotics markedly reduces the chances of antibiotics resistance now benzoyl peroxide comes in cleansers gels and creams if you're using a cleanser first of all you want to wet your face with lukewarm water and then take a few pumps of your cleanser lather it onto your skin leave on for one to two minutes just to give your skin ample time to have contact with the treatment and then you rinse off with lukewarm water and gently pat your skin dry now, when your skin is dry, the next step is very, very important. You always want to use a lightweight oil-free moisturizer after you cleanse with a benzoyl peroxide cleanser because this treatment can be very drying. And then if you're using this in the morning, you want to go over this with sunscreen of at least SPF 30. Now, if you're using a benzoyl peroxide gel or cream, you want to go in first with a mild cleanser a low pH cleanser that doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped. And then the next thing is to go in with your benzoyl peroxide gel. Now you want to take a little of this and then apply evenly across your face, focusing on the areas where you're more acne prone. Now you also want to go over this with a moisturizer just as you did after cleansing. Now for those that are just starting off on benzoyl peroxide, you want to start slow. For many acne treatments, you want to start slow. You're already dealing with a damaged skin barrier, so you don't want to overly irritate the skin. You want to start every other day and then work your way to every day. Now, if you find that when you start using it every day, you still get dryness, you can revert back to every other day. It still works. Remember, you're not treating your acne with just one medication, so you don't want to overdo each of these treatments because there are other ones that are also going to attack the acne through different means. The most common side effects of benzoyl peroxide is redness, dryness, and extreme flaking. It can be very dry, just as I said earlier on. So it helps to use a moisturizer afterwards and not overdo the number of times you use it in a week. Now you can also minimize this irritation by avoiding the areas around your eyes, the corners of your nose and the corners of your mouth. And it's important to note here that benzoyl peroxide can bleach your hair and fabric. So you have to be very careful when you're using it. 
now because benzoyl peroxide is an oxidizer it deactivates many skincare ingredients so it's very important to know what you mix and match with your benzoyl peroxide products this is very important it works very well with clindamycin erythromycin and adapalene there are prescription medications formulated with benzoyl peroxide and this acne treatment however other retinas have been shown to be deactivated by benzoyl peroxide so it's very important to know this now benzoyl peroxide should not be mixed with vitamin c other retinoids are cytosadapalene and alpha hydroxy acids. It can increase the irritation on your skin and deactivate the skincare ingredients. Now you can use benzoyl peroxide in the morning and use these other skin actives at night. Or if you experience irritation, you can alternate them every other day. With skincare, it is always personalized. You want to try out what works on your skin. There is no one size fits all. I hope you found this video very helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one bye